Hello, we are discussing about gate 2009 EC paper. Look at the Nyquist plot of G of S given. And G of S is open loop transfer function which is used in unity negative feedback configuration. And find gain margin and phase margin for the G of S for the closed loop stability. Okay, we are going to calculate gain margin phase margin required for G of S so that the closed loop system is stable. And we know gain margin can be calculated. Gain margin is reciprocal of magnitude of G of H at phase crossover frequency. Where omega PC is phase crossover frequency. At that frequency, whatever the magnitude of G H, that magnitude has to be recip uh, taken uh, reciprocal so that that will be equal to gain margin. Where omega PC omega pc is the frequency is the frequency at which angle of gh is equal to minus 180 degrees okay so if you are going for the angle 0 this is minus 90 degrees and it is minus 180 degrees this is minus 270 degrees otherwise 0 90 180 270 360 that is positive angles and it is negative angles we are going in the opposite direction. Okay, So, minus 180 degrees is going to be touching the Nyquist plot at this point and the magnitude at this point is going to be treated as GH at omega is equal to omega PC. So, the frequency at which the Nyquist plot is touching 180 degrees line okay, that is omega PC. We are not interested in the frequency. So, it has not mentioned but the point at which it is touching 180 degrees is treated as omega PC phase crossover frequency and the magnitude at this point is given as minus 0.5. So, this magnitude is going to be given as GH okay, at omega is equal to omega PC as 0.5 because we are going with magnitude okay, and this value we know so that gain margin is 1 by 0.5 which is nothing but 2 gain margin is 2 and gain margin is 2 means this is 2 and you must confirm you must specify in the decibels so convert this 2 into decibels ok gain margin in decibels is equal to 20 log 2 ok so the 20 log 2 is approximately equal to 6 decibels this is what gain margin 6 decibels. So, answer can be either A or C. After calculating phase margin, we can confirm that the answer, okay, whether it is A or C. Now, we will calculate the phase margin. Phase margin of a system is defined as, okay, this is a margin in the phase, okay, how much margin in the phase you are getting at gain crossover frequency at gain crossover frequency so first of all you must calculate some pi ok pi value you must calculate pi is equal to so pi is equal to this is angle of gh at omega is equal to omega gc Omega GC means gain crossover frequency. Gain crossover frequency is the frequency at which magnitude of GH will be equal to 1. Okay. At omega is equal to omega GC, the magnitude of GH will be equal to 1. So, when the magnitude of GH is equal to 1, at which point that will be treated as omega GC. So, only two values of magnitude is indicated. One is 0.5, the other is minus j. Minus j is nothing but minus j1. So, this is the magnitude over here is 1. So, the magnitude is 1 and this point that is the frequency is going to be treated as omega gc. This is a frequency at which the magnitude is equal to 1. So, first you calculate pi pi is going to be measured okay, either in positive direction or in negative direction but you must go all the angles must be of the same nature 
that is either you can measure that pi in the positive direction that is in general angle clockwise or anti clockwise you can measure in any way so remember that one whenever you are going with angles must be measured both in the same direction either clockwise or anti clockwise so let us assume first i am going with clockwise clockwise is nothing but this is clockwise means this direction whenever we are going in this direction it is minus 90 degrees minus 180 degrees minus 270 degrees and the pi is treated as this is the angle now we calculate phase margin to calculate phase margin we need to calculate pi first pi is the angle between pi is the angle between straight line passing through passing through origin at omega is equal to omega gc point and positive real axis positive real axis so to calculate phase margin first of all we need pi value that pi value can be calculated that is a pi is the angle between straight line passing through the origin at gain crossover frequency first we need to calculate gain crossover frequency and draw a straight line passing through origin okay and now calculate the angle between positive real, ax real axis and the straight line that will be treated as pi and this pi can be calculated either going through counterclockwise direction or going through clockwise direction by that time you will get if you are going for the anti-clockwise direction then you will get positive angles and if you are going for the clockwise direction you will get negative angles based on whether you are moving through clockwise or anti-clockwise phase margin is defined as phase margin is defined as minus 180 degrees plus pi if pi is measured if pi is measured in anti-clockwise direction in anti-clockwise direction that is counter-clockwise direction in counter-clockwise direction otherwise phase margin is equal to 180 degrees plus pi 180 degrees plus pi that is plus 180 or minus 180 that makes the difference 180 degrees plus pi if pi is measured in clockwise direction clockwise direction whenever clockwise direction clockwise is nothing but you are going in this direction that is pi value is negative whereas counter clockwise direction you are moving in this direction then pi value is positive angle remember that one okay that we will see now in both cases we will calculate pi value okay so pi is the angle between straight line passing through origin at omega is equal to omega gc point and positive real axis positive real axis is nothing but this line okay now first omega gc what is meant by omega gc omega gc is gain crossover frequency omega gc means gain crossover frequency at which okay at omega is equal to omega gc the magnitude of gh will be equal to 1 or in decibels it will be equal to 0 decibels when the magnitude will become 0 decibels at which frequency the magnitude will become 0 decibels that will be treated as that frequency is treated as gain crossover frequency and then draw a straight line at that frequency which is passing through origin and now calculate the phase angle that is making with respect to positive real axis that will be treated as pi now we will see this is the Nyquist plot given which is intersecting okay, at two points this is one point and uh, it is intersecting this is minus 180 degrees line and this is 90 degrees line and only two points are given even though it is intersecting so many other points also 
only two points is indicated that is minus 0.5 the other is minus j1 minus j means it is minus j1 magnitude is 1 the meaning is nothing but here the magnitude is 1 gh magnitude so this point is going to be treated as omega gc the value is not known and which is not important also for this problem omega gc the frequency at which gh is becoming 1 the frequency we don't know but we can identify the point the point is this one because at this point the magnitude is 1 and now we are going to calculate pi by drawing a straight line passing through origin this point which is passing through origin is nothing but like this this horizontal vertical line itself and now pi is the angle which is making from positive real axis to this one now we are going through anti-clockwise direction anti-clockwise direction so anti-clockwise direction as you are moving 0 degrees this is 90 degrees and it is 180 degrees this is 270 degrees so pi value is nothing but now 270 degrees phase margin now phase margin whenever you are moving in anti-clockwise direction that is counter-clockwise direction minus 180 degrees plus pi which is minus 180 plus 270 so it is 90 degrees is a phase margin otherwise you can measure the same thing in clockwise direction now I am measuring with respect to clockwise direction ok so now this is the gain crossover frequency and this is a straight line that is same and now we are going for the clockwise direction when you are going for clockwise direction this is the angle so this is pi which is equal to 0 degrees now we are going for the clockwise direction clockwise direction is 0 minus 90 degrees minus 180 degrees this is minus 270 degrees so now the angle is pi is equal to minus 90 degrees so since we are moving in clockwise direction phase margin can be calculated as 180 degrees plus pi so that it is 180 degrees plus minus 90 degrees so which is equal to 90 degrees itself ok so in both ways you can calculate the phase margin the required phase margin is 90 degrees and gain margin is 6 decibels so the right answer for this question is answer C not only this one you can calculate for any problem like this for example we are going with a circle like this unit circle it is touching over here say this is a gain crossover frequency at which the magnitude is 1 ok and this is gain crossover frequency at which the magnitude is 1 and you must draw a straight line passing through origin so that you can calculate pi and then you can calculate phase margin now we will go for the first case where we are going through anti-clockwise direction anti-clockwise direction you are going through in this way by the time pi is equal to for example ok this angle is say it is 130 degrees because it is 90 and it is 180 so I am saying it as pi is equal to 130 degrees 130 means this angle is 40 degrees and this angle is 50 degrees ok now phase margin is equal to you can calculate it as as you are going through anti-clockwise direction you must go for the minus 180 degrees plus pi so minus 180 plus 130 degrees which is nothing but minus 50 degrees is a phase margin so this is treated as unstable system whereas you will get the same thing by going through ok by going through this way now how much is going to be this value as you are going through clockwise direction if you are going through clockwise direction this is minus 90 minus 180 minus 90 minus 180 and this angle if it is 130 this will become 50 so 180 plus 30 this will become 230 230 degrees 
and it will be equal to minus 230 degrees pi is equal to minus 230 degrees so phase margin is equal to 180 degrees plus pi since we are going through clockwise direction so that plus 180 plus pi and 180 okay and pi is now minus 230 minus 230 180 is nothing but again it is minus 50 degrees so again the phase margin is minus 50 degrees whenever the phase margin is negative at that time system is unstable okay phase margin is negative means system is unstable phase margin is positive means system is stable so according to our problem the right answer is option c thank you